Scroll and Dagger presents Quest of Ruin. Episode 14 The Tower of Knowledge. Hello and welcome to Quest of Ruin, the post apocalyptic fantasy role playing podcast. I am your host and game master, and these are the players Will, Gina, Rosie, I'm Leah, and Matt. Zero rehearsal. (laughs) That's a lie. Mm. Okay, so when we left off, you guys were resting in the town of Athradel, the place that sits on the border between the Mortal Realm and the Fey Realm. You decided that you were going to go into the Fey Realm to find out more about the monolith and the ritual that Vareeth got dragged into. Literally. (laughs) Yeah, literally dragged into. So we are going to the Fey then? For crying out loud, yes! Yay! Well, someone's certainly excited. Oh God, ain't she just? All week I've been getting messages. Seems a bit extra. I'm just excited! I mean, sure, but it's not that big a deal. Can we just get started? Right, okay. So, you rest for the night and in the morning, Deliniel leads you out of Athradel and towards the border of the Fey Realm. Not far, little one. Not far. If she calls me that one more time... All right, Binks, just calm down. Is it really that bad? I've called you my little friend many times. Yeah, but you're my friend. So it's with affection. She's just a condescending... That may be the case, but she is our guide. Best not to upset her. Indeed. And we will need all of the help we can get. The Feydelm is not a place easily navigated. Excuse me? And what makes you think that I would not be just as good as a guide as Delineal? Oh, well, I... Well, I may not be one of the great and wondrous Calfairy, but I do at least know that with the Fey being so changeable, it is likely to have shifted around a lot since you were last there. Master Letha speaks the truth, Lady Ayla. The Isle of Norn has shifted a great distance in the last few years. I'm sure you could find it, but your time is far too valuable for such a necessary work. Well, I suppose. Come, the border is only a little further. Hmm. Do you not find it a little cloying? Of course not. She just wishes to help, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Of course not. And here we are. I don't get it. Looks the same as the rest of the forest. Only if you look with your eyes. You need to look into the gap. What? Don't worry about it, Binks. I'll help you through. Through what? (laughs) You'll find out. Come, this way. Okay. Yeah. Vyreath, I get what you were talking about now. It's so good to be back. Well, at least someone's happy. How can you not be happy, Master Lathar? Can you not feel the magi wind swirling around you? The pure energy of this place? Uh, No, I can certainly feel it. It's a bit hard to ignore, isn't it? I want to go home. Oh, come on. Stop being so dramatic. We're here now, so let's just do what we came here to do. Yes, indeed. Uh, Delineal, where is the library? Through this way. I see. Well, I don't. What? Physics don't really work in the same way here, Aeolin. The Fey is in an almost constant state of flux. It's hard to explain, but you don't so much travel to a place as move through space and then into the other location. You just described walking, but in a weird way. (laughs) He is also right. You will see in a moment. All right. Here we are. Follow me. Oh, right. I do not care for that. I think I'm gonna be sick. You never get used to it. Big babies. Could you stop being so damn chipper? (laughs) No. Ah. Is that the tower? Yes, that's it. It's enormous. That's really a library. Come. I sent word to the keeper of the tower. He's expecting us. Esteban? Spirit, it's been years since I've seen him. I know he will be happy to see you, Lady Yela. And you, Perinos Verith. I understand you've been here before. 
Yes, indeed. But I never came to this place. Well then, this will be a great experience for you. And your friends, of course. Barad Angol is unlike anything you will have seen in your world. Well, I mean, I'm sure the Remnant's library is impressive, all things considered. Nope. Even the Somrai College pale compared to this place. Whose side are you on? You can't deny the facts. Especially when they're staring you in the face like this. Now who comes? I know it can't be Yela Tangleweave, for she's out gallivanting in the mortal realm. Esteban, it's wonderful to see you again. Likewise, my dear. Delenio, I thank you. You may return to your duties. Yes, librarian. I must say I wasn't expecting so many of you. And an orc and a goblin among you. This is the first time I've had the pleasure of meeting one of your kindreds. Oh, well, the pleasure is mine. Yeah, yeah. Real nice place you got here. My thanks. And is this the half-elf of Lithenbar that I heard about? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, Master Labradian. Oh, please, call me Esteband. Any friend of Yela's is welcome in my presence. With some exceptions. Esteband. Master Librarian. Well met. Lathar Ithilum Narolinian. I actually go by- I know the name you take now. The Tower of Knowledge hears all. But I'm not so inclined to let you leave your shame behind you. How gracious of you. Please. I see you still lack proper respect. Only for those who don't deserve it. I'd hoped my niece had tired of joining you on doomed and pointless exploits by now. Well, I am delighted to disappoint you. All right, both of you, stop it. I am not having this again. If the two of you cannot be civil with each other, then just don't speak. Oh, apologies, Yela. I regret my words. Let us move to the subject of why you are here. We seek quite old knowledge, the source of vampirism. That is ancient knowledge indeed. That harkens back to the dawn years. I'm not sure we have anything here. Esteban, you have all of the histories of the world in here. I've seen the books myself. Histories of the world from the rise of civilization? Vampirism predates such histories. But there must be something. I mean, if you have writings from the ancient cultures, well, they'll surely have notes about what we're after. Well, perhaps. But honestly, I forget where such histories might be found. Ah, you will, Master Esteban. You seem... Anxious about something. You've never forgotten a thing in your life. Uncle, what's the matter? The matter? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I merely... Well... If you just point us in the direction of your old histories, then maybe I could... No! I mean, that is... Yela, could I... Hmm. I think I understand. You're worried we might damage the collection. What? No, no, I understand. Old texts are fragile, and those who don't know what they're doing, <laughs> or are disrespectful. What? Well, they can damage them by accident, but I promise, your collection will be fine. It's not that. Well, all right. The oldest tombs are on the top floor, but getting up there requires magic. And unfortunately, I'm rather drained and my assistant is, well, um... Ah, it's no problem. I am a mage. Perhaps I can help. Well, yes. Very well. Come, let me show you how the elevator works. And here we are. I shall... I shall return to the bottom floor. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you, Uncle. definitely acting strange, right? Absolutely. I've never seen him get that protective over the collection before. He's usually happy to let anybody look at anything, provided they're respectful. So, how shall we do this? There is a lot to look through. Perhaps it would be a good idea to split up. Alright, well, we'll go down here, and the two of you can look that way. If we find anything, we can just meet back up here. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Wait for me!
Hey, Olin, you all right? Hmm? Yeah, fine. Just getting a bit sick of Lathar's attitude. <laughs> I know the feeling. Why do you think I asked you to come with us? He's always been like that. You think I would have stuck around with him this long if that were true? I mean, as long as I've known him. We only met you after the last resistance. Believe me, there was a time that Lathar was actually good company. Haha, <laughs> no way. I can't believe it. It's true. He told stories. He laughed. He even sang. Now I know you're making that up. The war really did a number on him. Oh. There's a lot he deals with. That's why I can never bring myself to be too harsh with him. Yeah, even so. There was no reason to be like that with this to band. I take it they have a history? You could say that. As Keeper of Bard and Gull, it spans its on the High Council. Back when the Harbinger was first setting out, before the Battle of Bloody Tears, Lathar came to ask for help from the Fae. Isband was one of the ones who called for the Fae to remain out of the war. He said the troubles of the mortal world were none of our concern, and we should focus on defending our own realm, rather than taking the fight to the Harbinger. Ah. Exactly. We didn't get involved until much later. Until much too late. I can see why he'd be annoyed about that. You sound like you regret what happened. Of course I do. Did you know Lathar when he came before the council? I did. I counted him amongst my greatest friends. So why- Marilyn, if you don't mind, I'd rather not talk about that. Not right now. Can we just get back to what we're supposed to be doing? Sure. I might have found something! <sighs> I have no idea where to even start. You could look through these for days and not even read half of them. I don't suppose you know any kind of locator spell? <laughs> Afraid not. Well, I suppose it's the old-fashioned way then. What do you think? V for vampire? R for rituals? You do not seem to be taking this seriously. Well, I told you. A turning ritual requires a high blood. That's just a fact. Oh, you mean like the fact that an elf could not be turned into a waster? All right, fair point. I admit there have been a few occasions where I was mistaken. Uh, uh, ex excuse me? There must be dust in my ears. I think I just Don't heard... get too clever, Ashlander. <laughs> my apologies. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps the ritual was meaningless. But I would rather know for sure. Well, I can't... Shh, shh, eh, eh. Did you hear that? Hmm? I thought I heard something move. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a fox bat living in here. Look at this mess. It's an absolute disgrace. That was no fox bat. Maybe we should go and find the others. Well, sorry. The book did say enormous rock. Rock without a K. Binks, that was a book on Rare Bird. Interesting, though. There has to be something here. Aeolin, you know library is the best of us. Where should we start? That's the thing. I've been trying to figure out the filing system and, well, there doesn't seem to be one. Aye? Oh, as far as I can tell, everything in it was just put away at random. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. That's impossible. Isrand would never allow the library to get into that kind of state. You sure? Because I've got an Aladian encyclopedia here next to a book of children's poems from Darthland. Don't really see how those two go together. They don't. But why would... <sighs> what is it? I don't know. Something moved. Maybe a rat. Nah, too big to be a rat. You're both being silly. There's no way that it's to band. Okay. I heard it that time. So did I. See? Told ya! Binks, get down! No way! The floor's dangerous if there's something slithering around. S say that again. Eh? What? There's something smithering around. <laughs> and Blink, that's not quite the right blood. What is that? Stay still, both of you. Listen. Shh, stop a moment. Is it back? Yes. I cannot tell where it is, though. Oh, God. Do you think Istaban is all right? I could not begin to pretend to care. Lathar, you Let's can... not talk about it. Whatever went on between you two, I... You know I would not judge, yes? 
Yes, I am very aware of your insistence of seeing the good in everyone, Ashlander. You know that's going to get you into trouble one of these days. <laughs> I do not think so. <laughs> of course you don't. Look, the point is, though you do a good job of hiding it, I think you are a good person. Whatever happened between you and Master Isteban, I am sure there is a good reason. And if you wish to talk about it, that is fine. If not, that is well too. Mm -hmm. ah, I do not hear whatever that noise was anymore. Perhaps we can get back to our search as we check on the others. Isteban helped convince the Fae not to join us to fight the Harbinger. Ah, I did think that... I came before their council with Yela. You see, what you turned out the light. Not I, my friend. Where are you? Ashlander? Here. Mm. Right, let's just try and get back out. I cannot see anything. Can you? What is it? I do not know. I could have sworn something grabbed my ankle. Let's just keep moving. Come on. This darkness must end eventually. I cannot even make out the bookshelves. <laughs> okay, I think I found them. Right, now which way? Uh, the other stone, right? Yes, but where is that? It is too dark, even for me. Can you see anything at all? Not a thing. Should we call them? Or... <laughs> oh, for... I'm coming! Let go of me! What do you want? What do you want with me? Ashlander! Let that! Keep talking. I don't want to hit you by accident. You are too blind for your own good name. <clears throat> Try to grab hold of something. Oh, that's... Uh, ah! You shroud yourself in darkness. Afraid to face me, coward? Lose very happy for jealous! God, it's... Uh, I... Ashlander. Ashlander? Vareeth! Uh, I must find the others. Oi! Grumpy! Lepa! And us! Uh, less Grumpy! What on earth was all that? I have no idea. The library is kept sealed. Nothing should be able to get in here without Isteban's permission. Whoa! What the? That's magical darkness. What? You guys in there? Things come back! Yela! Letha? Ouch! Mm. Oh, hey, there you are. Get me out of this infernal darkness. Sure thing. Come on. Letha, are you alright? Where's Marie? <sighs> Something chased us. It, it caught them. It took them. I, I don't know where. They just vanished. Oh, oh, was it smithering? What? We heard it too. It was smithering around on the floor. It means we heard a creature slithering about. Was that what took Varith? Uh, yes, yes, exactly that. I, I think I even caught a glimpse of it. Varith shot lightning at it and... Did you recognise it? <sighs> no, not at all. It was, well, it, it looked like tentacles. Like an octopus. Well, yes, but just the tentacles. I didn't see a head or anything like that. That sounds unlikely. I know, but... Well, that's what I saw. Well, that's a good thing, right? No gob, no teeth, no eating your teeth. I admire your optimism, but there are many ways it could do harm. True. It could sap them with their souls, strangle the life from them, dissolve their skin yeah. and... Sorry, I may have read... Too many books on dangerous creatures. You are right, though. We must find them. How do we start? You said that they vanished? Yes. It was as if they disappeared from right beside me. Well, that's likely some kind of teleportation magic. Now, that would explain why you didn't see a head. You just sent their tentacle through, grabbed the wreath, and dragged them back. But how do we track it? Every spell like that requires an anchor. Um, a place to re-emerge on the other side. Ties like that leave tethers. If we're lucky, we could find one and follow it. Like a string in a cave. A what? You know, when you go exploring in a new cave, you tie a string round something at the entrance, then you keep uncoiling the rest as you go, and when you want to get back, you just follow it. Please tell me that you didn't do that by yourself. All the time. The fact that you're still alive is incredible. But yes, that is the basic idea. All right, so how do we find these strings? It won't be so easy for us. We don't have nearly enough magical skill to just fumble around and find it. We'll have to work out what drives the creature, what it wants, then use that to try and connect to the traces it left behind. Run that by me again! But what in the world could a giant tentacle monster want? Breathe. But why them, specifically? 
What do you mean? Well, didn't you say that you heard it too, close by? Yeah. So then, why didn't it attack you too? You were just as easy a target and it had plenty of tentacles. Because there was three of us, maybe? I doubt the creature would have cared how many of you there were. Trust me, it could have carried all of us off easily. Okay, I see what you're saying. If this creature had ample opportunity to take any of us, and in fact, could have taken all of us, why only go for one? And why, specifically, go for Varith? And why is it living here in the library? It's not exactly much of a hunting ground. You saw how few people were here. Must be connected. Maybe, um, hmm. Maybe the thing feeds on knowledge? Aye? Well, think about it. Why else would it make its home here? Like Yala said, there's not much edible stuff around, so it must be the library itself. Barad Angle, the biggest collection of knowledge in the world. And then, when it finds new knowledge, it draws it into itself with those tentacles. Like sampling something new. So, why take the reef? Ashlanders have been around for centuries. There'd hardly be new knowledge. Perhaps because of their magic? Mages are rare among Ashlanders. And ones tainted by vampirism would be rarer! I've got it, right? I didn't believe it, but if they were infected... No, he's right. If this creature does hunger for knowledge and learning, it's likely been feeding on this place for a while. All the books, all the secrets, plenty of knowledge. It's probably absorbed most of what there is to know. But then, what if a complete anomaly wandered into its den? And a mon and a what now? The reef may be one of a kind. An Ashlander tainted with the vampiric blood. That would be downright irresistible to such a creature. Spirits, you're right. We have to get to them. But how? Well, we know what it wants is the wreath. Perhaps if we make our own version of the wreath, we may get drawn into wherever its lair is. Our own version of the wreath? What do you... So, even... like, make a scarecrow what looks like them? Not quite so literal. Uh, all right, so, here. Sons to Ashes, the history of Lathimba. I found it earlier. I was going to show it to the reef, but this is a link to them. Lithimbar, the Ashen Plains, their homeland. And if we find more knowledge connected with them, you know, books about Ashlanders, nomads, magic, and maybe even vampires, all the things that make the reef, well, the reef, then we can put them all together as almost a big melting pot, you know, information, and hopefully that will draw us into the creature. Then we kill it. We get the wreath back. Well, this all sounds ludicrous, but I am willing to give anything a try right now. I do not want to split up again, though. You're right. Let's stick together and work quickly. We grab anything that relates to Varith. Their person, their life, anything. Let's go! Okay, do me a search check. Okay. I got a 16. Sweet. Okay, you, uh, Gina, are you okay there? Why are you trying to ruin libraries? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin libraries. I swear you are. Also, did I do something to you? What? I got abducted by vampires. I get dragged into the dark by an eldritch horror. I swear it's not personal. Well, it feels like it is. Lathar never gets stolen. Ah, uh, have you guys seen the time? What? Oh, God. I need to get back. Yeah, no problem. We can finish there. We'll pick this up next time. Until then, goodbye. Bye! Bye. Quest of Ruin is a podcast distributed by Scroll and Dagger and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. Today's episode was written by Gareth Cadogan and C.L. Barry. It was produced by Gina Moriarty and directed by Gareth Cadogan. Original music was produced by Evangelos and Narcissatos. To see the full cast list, view show notes, and ways to support us, visit scrollandagger.com and rate us wherever you find your podcasts. Thank you for listening.